Okay, uh, my name is Raslan. Uh, I'm about 45 years old. Uh, sorry, I'm about 56 years old. Um, <coughs> so, um, I'm a polio patient. I contacted polio at the age of two and I went to, through a lot of operations. I went to operations where I corrected my ankle, I went and lengthened my leg and also I, I went through a uh, prostatomy. Uh, to, so that I can lock my knee and I've been having polio for many years and the biggest problem I have since I was small was I always have to have my hand to, uh, on, my, on my thigh to stop my leg from collapsing and it has given me a lot of problems and it was difficult to cope in life uh, I've tried using calipers when I was small. I took it out, but after my ostectomy, I was able to walk uh, with a locked knee. But as I reached the age of 50, I think uh, things gave in because of age, and I started having problems again. I went to another ostectomy, but uh, it didn't work out very well. So I'm now at uh, Dr. Bola's uh, clinic. Actually, the way I found uh, Dr. Bola is through the internet. Uh, a friend of mine who was trying to uh, help me uh, search someone uh, from the world, in fact from the whole world, who can treat polio. So he managed to find and send me the, uh, the link to Dr. Bola and from the link that I got from, uh, from the internet through my friend, uh, I managed to contact Dr. Bola and introduce myself to the phone and now, and I took the effort uh, because I'm from Malaysia, I took Malaysia is a country where I think polio has been eradicated already in the 70s and 80s. So we don't have many, uh, we, we don't have polio cases after that. But nevertheless, we do have a lot of uh, people who have suffered polio and are uh, experiencing deformities. And that's why I think even I've read some of the articles that Dr. Bola has written. In fact, Dr. Bola refers to people like me as the forgotten boys, people of contracted polio at a very young age and as you know vaccine has been created for polio and it has prevented polio from uh, affecting a lot of young kids but unfortunately people like me we have contacted it so we have to go on with life and we have to in order to live a better life we need to walk better and also we need to improve the way we walk and so now maybe i i just mentioned to you i, I took the effort and went to uh, this clinic and uh, Dr. Ola was kind enough to accept my wife and myself to the clinic and it so happened also six of my friends who were also anxious on trying to find out how polio is treated because most I've already saw a lot of orthopedic surgeons and I think uh, the general feeling uh, of orthopedic surgeons, they can't do much for you and also I think, I don't think they really understand polio very well and the psychology of polio and how it affects a patient, how it affects his life, and also how the day-to-day -day running of his life uh, uh, is affecting him. So I, I think that's the background that I'm facing. But um, okay, Dr. Bola, so I think thank you very much for having us here. I think we have spent two days here, and it was a very eye-opener. Uh, I really don't understand how you can, in fact, people have told me that polio is a paralysis and you just can't cure polio. But I think Dr. Ola explained to me how you can do that through a series, uh, through the uh, method of uh, Ilizarov, which is basically a Russian method. And uh, together, it's not only Ilizarov because it's also aided by a computer method called his support. Am I correct? Hex support. Yeah. Hex support. And this hex support is actually uh, it's called SUV hex support, which uh, which uh, is a tool uh, for us to uh, for us to get the right measurement. So basically, uh, correct me, uh, uh, Dr. Bola, uh, actually the way to correct polio, the way I've learned these few days, is, uh, I've learned a few days, is that um, you've got to do a series of prostatectomy where you can get your leg in the right position so that your center of gravity changes and you don't have to, uh, you don't have to hold your hand to stop your knee from collapsing. Uh, so this is where Dr. Bola uses a lot of computer-aided thing together with Elizarov, right, uh, Elizarov, and then he'll get you, he'll go through a very thorough uh, test 
and uh, and also uh, analysis on the way you walk and also the way you your bone is structured and then come up with a strategy on how to operate maybe three or four uh, ostectomy points and then you need a bizarro so that you can hold the, the, the bone firm and you can also adjust so that it grows in the right direction because for a polo patient you need precision you got to be for a normal person if your bone is not in the precise place it doesn't it may not hurt you so much but as a polio patient it will affect the way you walk so I, I saw that and I talked to a lot of patients who have uh, who are, who's now uh, who has undergone the operation now in the process of trying to uh, get themselves to walk again and it's great uh, they're happy with the procedure so uh, I'm already planning with uh, Dr. Bola how I can proceed with the operation but I've got to admit uh, I'm very scared of the operation because of the pain involved uh, but I, surprisingly I've talked to a lot of, a lot of the patients that have gone through they, they seem to, to say it's not as painful as because you know when you have your knees uh, when you have your bones when you have uh, you know when you have iron rods going through your bones it's it, 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 it's scary it's scary especially when you don't go through when especially when you see all these things but i think the good thing about the operation that I'm, what i think what i learned is that it, uh, the ostectomy is not done by really it's done only by two one or two stitches and then they, i think you uh, then i think you can get into the bone and do the proper cut that you need in the bone so i really hope for the best of the world i've learned a lot and i think I've gone through a lot of uh, uh, muscle tests that we did, and also I've gone through uh, also uh, also the uh, CT scan that we did. I can see the position of my leg, and uh, it's great that you have shown me what you're going to do. And I'm I'm I, like you mentioned, uh, we all uh, we all you know we all are uh, we all are uh, we all are human, and we believe in God, and. This is where we try our best, Dr. Bola tries his best to cure myself. I, myself and my wife also hope for the best. But as we say, uh, we only try but God decides. But one thing for sure, I just want to maybe conclude what I say, uh, is that at least there's a chance. There, there's a great chance and also I can see that after talking to Dr. Bola, he understands all your patients. I think what I've learned now is I don't think a normal orthopedic surgeon can handle polio. Polio is too specialized for that. Polio, you need to be and to be focused on polio patients. I think that's the only way and how you got to monitor after the operation, how it recovers up to the point of how it walks. So it's not just another, uh, just another area of orthopedic. It's a specialized, within the specialization of orthopedic. Maybe my wife wants to say something about what she's learned. Uh, basically, in just a short time, just to make the audience understand uh, what you're doing. Uh, maybe they are, I know that's because the reason I'm doing this thing is because I've learned today from the internet and I think it's time I also contribute to other patients. All those polio patients you have out there, uh, there's a chance here for you. And you know, most polio patients now, I think they are in their 50s because polio epidemic, especially in Malaysia, we had it in the 60s. So these are the what I think uh, Dr. Bola mentioned. Uh, uh, these are the forgotten boys and maybe I take this opportunity also Dr. Bola uh, there's also a great man in our community in the world uh, uh, Bill Gates who's taken steps to eradicate polio which I think is marvellous I think uh, the pain and the suffering that he has elevated from a lot of future people it, it's really great but the only thing about Bill Gates is that he's only uh, he, it's, it's not a complete picture because he's eradicating polio but he's not uh, trying to help people like me who, who, who wants to walk better and wants to have a better life even at the age of my age of 56 uh, you know, we still think that we can go on and have a better life and uh, we, we, we want to, the best for ourselves for the rest of our life maybe at this point I, I've said enough about Ebola maybe I mean, my wife want to add something uh, I think she's gone through with me a lot. She's uh, every step of the way. She's always backing me all my life, and uh, uh, she's a great support to me. I think it's important for the patients must have that. And the good thing, maybe I just want to mention about Dr. Mula. He's he's very truthful. Uh, that that's important. I think we polio patients, 
if a person cannot help us, any doctors cannot better tell us exactly because nobody is perfect. At least it's truthful. He tells us what he can do, his limitations, what, uh, what the results of the operation can achieve, what it can't achieve, you know. And you know, let's face it, polio patients can never get 100% perfection in purity. Okay, I'll pass it to my wife. Maybe he wants to say something. I've said, you talk long enough. Slight loud. Yeah. Slight loud. Okay. So, um, when he had the prostatomy, when he was 51, uh, it didn't go out as planned. And I could see the frustration within him. Because he used to walk, although it was a bit strange, but now he can't even walk. He has to use uh, crutches. And we tried so many, um, we tried to go to other doctors to get second opinions after, after the incident. And then we even went to um, um, the orthotics. Uh, we wanted to give them a, a hypnomechanic mechanism uh, uh, that can make him walk. But, uh, but then it didn't work out also. So he got even more frustrated and that frustrates me as well. So, and then suddenly, we almost gave up hope and then his friend, very good close friend of him from young, went to search in the internet. I don't know why we didn't see you on the internet, but he managed to find. And then he was telling me, look, look at this video. This, this person can walk. He, he was holding his knee and the next moment he can already walk upright. So that gave him hope. And that gave me hope also because I want him to be happy, you know. But I guess the only problem is that is it India, so far away from our home. So I guess if you want something good, you have to go through a hard time in life. Then only it's meaningful. Yeah? So we we have to make arrangements now. But then we're looking forward. Hopefully, we have faith in Dr. Bola and of course God. So, and like what Dr. Bola said, everything is in God's hands. We can only do the best. So, we, we, we will keep our faith and we shall try to work things out so that he'll be happy. <laughs> okay. Then he can walk again. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mohammed Rasram, I'm from the core of my heart. Thankful to the God and to you. You have come from Malaysia just for consultation. With your wife, with your six friends. I'm highly obliged and I feel honored that a person of your stature who had undergone so many surgeries, searched everywhere, showed to so many doctors, and then you thought coming to Bola Hospital polio deformity correction center, you can get more. Now you are going after two days. Mm -hmm. Was it really worth coming? Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Bola, uh, it's very worth it. And uh, it's important that I come here because whatever you see in the video, uh, you, you cannot compare it to see with your own eyes. And also I've talked to the patients. Uh, I can see uh, the psychology in them effort they take in and that's you, know, you can't you can't replace by seeing the real thing you got to and see the you have to come yes <coughs> sorry you have to come yes you have to get your x-rays done yes. properly examined yes at least i think we have said five six times with you yes and spent so many hours so that you come to know about your body what is going on sure I think you must be satisfied. It was hurt. Especially with his hips. Yeah. We didn't understand Knee. his hips, especially. Yeah. We didn't understand why he was having pain. this problem. And, then you and once you met people yes. whose hips yeah. they were settled, yeah. but they always mentioned you also yeah. might have thought, yes, these things yeah. I am also having. Yes. And this mechanism can settle the thing. You yes. never knew about the band. Pardon? The, the, the word bend, we yeah. didn't know. You never knew. Yeah. And how it can affect your yeah. walking. Yes. And then now at least you yeah. know where the bends are in yeah. your body, how practicing them yes. can benefit you. Yes. Exactly. 
Because he, he didn't know and physiotherapist didn't know. They just kept making him do all this. Exercises, Some exercises, exercises. Didn't exercise. work. And yeah. He still felt the pain. What we are going to do, we are just going to get fracture, which can happen otherwise even in anybody, anywhere, especially in poliotic, they are very prone to fracture, falls. And uh, we are just going to create a fracture and align the things. And you have met five, six patients as well. Yes. yes. And, uh, I think it was worth coming here, spending time for your body, knowing each and everything, what is going on. And uh, again, I thank you very much. If you have any suggestion, it is most welcome. Mm, just that when I saw that girl today, she was holding her knee. Yeah. Because I've never saw him holding his knee before. Yeah. When I married him, wow. he was already okay. He because was walking without any sport. assistance. Yeah. So when I saw the girl looking yeah. like that, she comes here with the family yeah. with so much hope. Yeah. You know, that kind of like yeah. opened my eyes. So, you know. But maybe some final words I want to mention. I think it's important for your patients. Uh, whatever it is, you must understand the what is going on. What's going on. In the body. And, I In the body. and why you are having this yeah, pain? Yeah, why yeah. having that you pain? You must understand it. You must understand it and, and I don't think, I think you must learn to share it with your doctor. It it's amazing that Dr. Bola knows what's happening. After 20 years of research. About. So it, and you have seen so many patients in one go. Yeah. Undergoing treatment yeah. at various stages. Yes. And you find them, all of them, they were happy. They were happy with their results. They were happy with the treatment with the hospital, with their staff and uh, in the last, I again thank you very much thank you. and hope that you come yes. after making up your mind yes. and you are welcome. To God. We got to pray to God. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to be connected with a, Him yeah. every time, yeah. every, this is right every minute, time. every second. You have to be in land because He will settle the thing. Yes. I think, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bola, uh, on behalf of my wife, my family, because you were very generous with your time. And I, I noticed uh, you never hesitated to answer any questions that were given. And I'm, I'm, I think I, I really understand it very well now. And I know the risk. Uh, and uh, I think uh, it's a big eye opener. You are otherwise welcome. At 6 o'clock, except Saturday, Sunday, if you still have any query, you can dial us. Okay. We'll try to but I think uh, remove your doubts. We have, almost. Just, yes. You have almost get what your yeah. these uh, doubts. No, we just we have to pray before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We show the direction. <coughs> inshallah, everything yes, will be inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. fine. Inshallah, inshallah. 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 You will get much better yes. after our intervention. Sure. At least now your psyche knows. You know where you are going, where we are standing, and where we have to go. I think if even if he has a pain, if my, I and my son are around, I think he will. Not yeah, 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 yeah. Family sport is a big yeah. thing. And uh, we'll try to make your everything comfortable. Yeah. No issue. Thank you. Okay. Thank you Thank very you much that. once again.